Okay, so it's my birthday this month, and I was digging through some old photos. This almost 60-year-old photo of my sister holding baby me, well, I'm going to show you how it takes about 30 seconds to bring it back to life. And let me show you the output. Let's just show you what happens if you actually create uh, some changes in that image. And I'm going to show you what happens if you use AI. And for years, I used things like Photoshop, but I've dumped them. I've canceled those subscriptions because they're too expensive and they're too hard to use because you can accomplish things like this with AI in about 30 seconds and really bring baby me and my sister sitting on the front porch of our house out on the family ranch back to life. And I'm going to show you how to do it. And I'm going to show you how inexpensive it is to do this process. Now, before I start, I want to tell you something that everybody's talking about, which is chat GPT. Now, ChatGPT image, particularly the 4.0 model, it's fantastic, and I use it all the time. In fact, here is a graphic that we just used on social media, media about own a winery or a tasting room, let us help you design the perfect chocolate and wine tasting. I mean, in image prompting world, that's outstanding because the ability to put text on an image, use our existing image, show our chocolates in this setting. And to be able to do that with a pretty simple prompt, like add the words on a winery or tasting room and let us help you design the perfect chocolate tasting, that's all I did. And I get this amazing graphic. But one of the challenges with ChatGPT, which again, it is amazing, is the fact that they often limit, they don't like you putting people's pictures on there, you're gonna get a lot of warnings. So it's hard to update photos, particularly when you want your photos to tell a story. So I am just in love with another program and it's called Runware. And I'm gonna tell you why I like it. And before this video is over, you're gonna fall in love with it too because it has just about everything you need to do image editing and image creation with AI. And it's dirt cheap. The pricing is just crazy and the model access is over the top. So basically the best thing about it is that it is a flexible system, meaning that you use the models that you need, you can pick and choose, you can try different models without subscribing to services, and you basically just put a deposit of money on the account. I'm gonna quickly jump down to pricing because I think that is a big issue in these models. And I'm just gonna show you, you're gonna see all these names, and if you're not embedded in this universe of imaging, these are all gonna be confusing. But just to put it in perspective, just to kind of put it in perspective, the newer models like Minimax that generate video, you can see that you can generate 10 seconds of video for 50 cents. I'm not sure, we might could find it on here. Yeah, here's Google VO. Uh, eight seconds of video is $4, okay? So just showing you can get access to some amazing models that are significantly cheaper. So if you're building content for your business, uh, for your personal account, and you wanna save money, it's a great way to do it. The second thing is you get access to state-of-the-art models. When you start to see things like clean and all of these models, you're gonna find that these are state-of-the-art. But the best thing about it is the pricing. You literally can put money on deposit on an account and it will just be charged when you use it. So it'll just sit there. So if you need a picture for your business, you need a picture for social media, you want to edit an image like I'm going to show you today, this really quick hack, um, you're going to find that it's actually going to be pretty fantastic uh, when, uh, as far as pricing is concerned. You might spend anywhere between less than a penny to eight cents an image, uh, which means that you can get thousands and thousands of images for a $25 deposit on Runware. It's absolutely a fantastic bargain. You can do image generation, video generation. Uh, you have access to all these different models and you can do some cool things like background removal and something called upscaling. You may not know what that is, but upscaling is where you take an image, particularly off the computer, and you make it bigger so it doesn't pixelate when you show it in different platforms, particularly in print media and things like that. So let's jump in. I'm going to show you how easy this is to do. So if you go over to the playground, this is the area where we are. We're going to start on the homepage, okay? And this is the homepage. This gives you an example of just all of the models. And uh, again, I don't know how many are on here. It wouldn't shock me if there's not a thousand different models. Now, if I have one criticism of of Runware, it's that there's so many models, you can get a little bit overwhelmed. But one thing to kind of know, they typically will surface to the top, the most popular models. And these are often the image models that have 
given the best results, they are the most, uh, give the best images, maybe have the most uh, uh, ideas to, for uh, development. But here's a kicker. Uh, the video models are really popular right now. I would typically tell you if you're new to this kind of prompting uh, with images, start with an image and then work your well way up to video. Video is a little bit more expensive. Remember I told you like a penny an image versus 50 cents, right? So it's like 50 times more expensive. So start with an image and then move on from there. The program that, that I use a lot for image creation, and these are AI image creations, is Flux. Uh, Flux is by far my favorite image creation app. And the way this works is that you would just launch it in the playground and you could basically just prompt what kind of image that you want. And here's an example. This was an image that I put on LinkedIn and I'm going to open it up so we can actually see it maybe a little bit bigger. And so this was an image, of, you know, what was I after? Well, I'm using this sort of movie thought from Taken, you know, like you will be taken the Liam Neeson movie. And I'm basically was doing a post about AI and your job will be taken. There's a lot of people saying, oh, no, no, your jobs are safe. No, your jobs are going to be taken uh, with AI tools, but there's going to be a lot of opportunity. So the more you learn these tools and learn how to use them, you're going to be given a lot of opportunity, but really a fantastic image, right? I mean, I wanted this guy wearing a denim shirt and the text on the image is perfect. It's spelled correctly. And if you've done AI image work in the past, you know, that, that was a little bit of a problem. The lighting is just fantastic. So this is pretty typical of Flux Pro and being able to edit uh, these particular images. So I'm going to go back to the homepage. But today what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on a, something called Context Max, okay? And uh, Context Max is um, a program that will help you to fix issues. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that picture of my sister that I showed you holding me and uh, let's go back and take one more look at it so we can uh, really get a really kind of a good look at what it looks like. Cause I want you to make sure you see the before and after, and then I'm going to walk you through how easy this is to do. So in this image, there's several things about it that I want to point out. One, there is this big crack down the middle of this image. Uh, you can see it right here. Part of the image, you know, looks like it's been torn away. Uh, clearly, this was a black and white image. You know, this is the original image. It looks like it was probably shot in, you know, typical, you know, one-to-one -one aspect ratio. The lighting is not bad for an image of this age, but clearly is not, you know, is not great. And uh, uh, you can tell that the image was not in perfect focus here. Uh, more than likely, this was shot with a camera that did not have a focus. So it had a fixed focal length, which is really pretty common in these compact instant cameras uh, 50 years ago, uh, when or 50, all over almost 60 years ago when this image was taken. And clearly, uh, the highlights are really blown out back here. It's really hard to see the features. And even in my sister's face, it's hard to see the features. You can't really tell, but I've got some kind of little artifact here about my nose, which is kind of odd looking. Uh, but really, a challenging picture because of the artifacts going on here, the lighting that's kind of blown out. And when you try to fix these highlights in Photoshop, one of the challenges you'll get is that the image will get too dark, particularly on areas like in here. And don't get me wrong, you can do all kinds of dodging and highlighting within Photoshop. And I was a power Photoshop user until I got mad at Adobe and kicked them. But uh, still, it would take a long time to do. And even though I might have some presets, it'd be really hard to fix these cracks and scratches without using some kind of extension or tool in, in, in Adobe, which would probably cost me more money. Okay. So how do we fix that image? Well, we're going to go over to Runware and we're in this Flux Context Max. And here's where I've actually done it. That's the one you're actually seeing, but I'm going to do it for you live here. So restore and colorize and fix scratches. And just since it's in black and white, I wanted to tell them that the girl has red auburn hair because my sister is a redhead and... <laughs> She, um, she is a redhead, so, and her personality describes it. So anyway, I wanted to make sure that that was described in the, in the image. And that's all I did. I uploaded the picture and I'm going to click generate. And what's going to happen, you're going to see up here that this cost to do will be five cents. So the cost per image, that's how inexpensive this model is and why I think it's really fantastic. And you can see it generated uh, an image and this one's not quite as good is the image I generated before. So, and you may find that with these models, you may actually have to do 
several of them to get the image that you want. The other thing too, is you could take an image that's created here and you could actually bring it into flux and you can do some other editing. So for instance, here is image inference, but let's just say that I wanted to upscale the image, right? Then I could actually bring it in here and I could actually do upscaling. So I could upscale it 2X, 3X, 4X, things like that. I'm actually not going to do that, but you, that's something that you could actually do. You could actually upscale the image. Now I'm going to show you one other thing that's kind of interesting is that we could take this image of my sister. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this image because that's the one I really like. We're going to go back over to the home model playground. And I want to show you one other thing before I leave, and that is clean. Now clean AI is actually, um, it is a video model. So it's a video model and it's one that can take a still image and it can actually make it a uh, video. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a open, open, open clean, which is right here. And I'm going to go over and upload the image that we just created. And so I'm just going to say it's this one right here. I'm going to upload the image. And now we're going to say something about this particular like video, a picture. We're going to say, uh, I'm going to say, uh, in this image, make the baby be kicking and moving his arms. Okay. So add a little bit of life to it. There is this sort of, um, magic key. I'm going to kick, click it. And what it's going to do is it's going to add some style language. It's going to in the style of Constantine Razumov, 3d trending octane render ultra detailed. Okay. I don't know what that's going to do. That's the thing about AI images. There's a lot of people that have created these really cool prompts. Sometimes you don't really know what they do until you try them. And I'm going to click generate. Now, couple words about this. This one's going to cost 92 cents. Okay. Cause I picked the most expensive model, uh, to show you that's number one. Number two, these models take a little bit to work. So you saw earlier that literally by the time I finished a couple of sentences of talking and I'm talking pretty fast, I had done the entire image, but that's not going to be true here. This could take a couple of minutes or so to actually be created, but still pretty amazing. I don't know what the result's going to be, but I'll push pause here for a second and I'll come back in a minute and we'll pick up and I'll show you what this video looks like. Okay. So we're back here and it took somewhere in the neighborhood of about four to five minutes actually to render this video, which seems like a long time in today's world of AI, but I will tell you something when you see the results, it's, pr it's pretty amazing. So what happens is it's going to pop up the, the target image that's here. And then it's going to show the video. So let's watch it. And, uh, again, pretty realistic. I mean, uh, I was a pretty active little kiddo back in those days. Right. So it's just a short, you know, video and, uh, actually recreated some parts of the house that weren't there in the video to kind of be able to show it. I'm not sure that's exactly what the house looks like, but regardless, uh, pretty realistic. And, you know, nobody knows what they look like when they're like one. <laughs> so <laughs> probably that's how I acted just a little bit, a little bit goofy, which is how I act today. So can we go back over here and just kind of summarize a few things for you? So we saw, we were able to create these one last little thing. When you generate images in many of these AI apps, they are kept for a while, but they're not kept forever. So you want to make sure that if you like the video or you like the image, you want to download it to your computer and store it in another spot. Don't expect it to be kind of a stay in that location. So the last thing I'm just going to do just to make sure you have the information, the, the program that I was using was called Runware AI. And that's the program that actually has all the pricing where you can put the deposit on and actually do those. And I actually did the image editing here to turn an old image into a new image in a model called context. And I created the video in a model called cling. And between these uh, particular models, I think you're going to find that you can create some amazing images. You can tell some great stories. And, uh, when you want to give something special to someone in their life, take an old image, upscale it, improve it and give it to them. And it's just absolutely special. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions.